Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to track your schema in a registry using Apollo's Graph Manager. Just like it's important to keep track of source code in a version control system, you'll want to track the state of your schema in a central registry. That way you have one place to explore your schema, see how it's used, and see how it changes over time. It also allows you to turn off introspection and production, so your data structure stays private. A registry also makes it easier to hook your schema into other development tools and provide API type safety right in your IDE. So let's get started and see how this all works. We've already signed up for an account in Graph Manager, so now we're going to create a graph. Simply click here when you get to the welcome screen and then give the new graph a unique name. The first step of registering a graph is to publish its schema. Here, I've got a simple GraphQL server with some mocked fields running on my computer at localhost 4000. To publish my schema, I'm going to copy my API key into my .env file and then run the CLI command npx apollo service push. The Apollo CLI will then extract my server schema with an introspection query and then upload it to Graph Manager automatically for me. We'll see the Graph Manager becomes aware of the schema that was just pushed and then refreshes itself automatically. Now the graph is populated with all the information about the schema it represents. At a glance, we can see the number of types and fields in the schema, as well as all the field descriptions. Our example here is pretty small. If we set up metrics reporting from our server, we would also see data here about how many clients and operations are using each field in the schema. Now let's say we make a change to our schema and restarted our server. In this case, we'd need to publish a new version. To do that, we simply run our Apollo service push command again. And if we hop over to the history tab, we can see a diff showing exactly which changes we've made. Over time, this tab basically becomes a change log, which is powerful when we're trying to track down when specific changes were made to the graph and by whom. The schema registry should ideally represent what's actively running on your server. To accomplish this, you'll want to install your Apollo service push command inside of a continuous integration or continuous deployment pipeline. That way, you don't need to worry about running this command manually. But when you visit Graph Manager, you'll always know that you're looking at the current state of the world. Now, if you want to track your schema's evolution across different environments, you can associate your schema publishes with a variant. This will allow you to browse all the data in Graph Manager within the context of a specific environment. The schema registry is one of the core services that makes Graph Manager so powerful giving you a single map of all your data and services in one place. But it's just the beginning of what Graph Manager can do. You can check out the full Apollo Graph Manager documentation or one of our other videos to learn more. And of course, the best way to get to know Graph Manager is by just trying it out yourself. You can explore a demo on your own by visiting demo.apollo.dev. Thank you.